Did I start the podcast already? Hey, you didn't know in high school, this is Mr. Raiden. This is 8.1 Atomic Physics, and let's get to it. I hope you're having a good Christmas break, but here we go. I am interrupting it right now. Um, when we talk about atomic physics, we're talking about a dual nature of light, and that light can be like a wave, and it can be like a particle. So that light that's hitting you right now from your, your lamp or your uh, light in your room or from the outside, guys, it can either be a photon, a wave, or it can have mass and be a photoelectron and be a particle, okay? And the better you're at it splitting this up into waves or particles, the easier atomic physics is going to be. First, let's take a look at the wave-like nature of light. So let's just take a look at it as a photon, a photon of light. The experiment that proves that light is a photon is Young's double slit experiment. We're not going to be taking a look at this experiment until the end of the year, so just put this on the back burner right now, is that Young's double slit experiment uh, proves that we have photons or waves of light and the wave of light will obey two different equations so when we see two different equations these uh, when we take a look at photons we're gonna just immediately write down these two equations okay the first equation is C which is the speed of light it's always 3 times 10 to the 8th meters per second is equal to wavelength that's that funky looking H thing times frequency times frequency okay the second equation is energy, energy, that's um, energy, is equal to H, H is Planck's constant, I'll talk about that in a second, times frequency. When we take a look at energy, energy can either be in joules, or it can be in electron volts, and there's a nice equality there of one electron volt equals one times 10 to the negative 19 joules. I suggest calculate everything in joules, because you can't take a look at the particles without it being in joules. Planck's constant can either be one of two numbers. It can either be 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th joules times seconds. If you use that H, when you multiply by frequency, you're going to get your answer in joules. If you use a 4.14 number, 4.14 times 10 to the negative 15th, that's electron volt seconds. So when you multiply that times frequency, you'll get your energy in electron volts. Okay? You can use either one. I suggest using the 6.63 number if you want to find joules. Okay? Now let's take a look at the particle-like nature of light, which is the photoelectrons, okay? And there's a nice experiment that proves that that light acts like a particle, and that's called the photoelectric effect. And there's one easy equation that anytime you're going to use particles, or if you see the word electron in an atomic problem, use this equation. That wavelength is called the de Broglie wavelength, the de Broglie wavelength. And the de Broglie wavelength equals H, that's Planck's constant, okay, over P, which is momentum, momentum. And we know momentum is mass times velocity. And what mass are we going to use? We're going to use the mass of the electron, which is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31st kilograms, okay? Now, if you want to find out the speed of that electron in order to find out the momentum, th the velocity, you're going to use the energy equals 1 half mv squared because we have a particle here. We have a particle that has mass, and therefore it has speed, and energy will be often the same as when we had a photon, okay? There's also an equation which is called energy is equal to potential energy, and potential energy is, is Q, which is the charge of an electron, that's 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs, times the voltage, or the, what we call the stopping potential, or even we could call it the starting potential, okay? And so again, this is this is potential to kinetic energy right here. And this is whenever we're doing electrons, guys, these three equations we can use. Okay, so make sure you keep these in mind. All right. Let me take a look at the photoelectric effect for a second. The photoelectric effect is one nice easy equation. It's kinetic energy max is equal to HF minus that crazy looking symbol right there. And that crazy looking symbol is called the work function. Work function. I hope that you see that this this equation right here is in a y is equal to mx plus b format, okay? A y equals mx plus b format. So what do we put on our y axis is kinetic energy. What do we put on our x axis is frequency, right? And we're going to get a straight line. And this straight line will have a slope of h, which is Planck's constant. That 6.63 number or the 4.14 number, okay? And, of course, where it hits the y-intercept will always be below the z zero. It'll be negative, and that's called the work function, okay? 
Where it crosses the x-axis is called the threshold frequency. It's where the kinetic energy equals zero, or where the HF is equal to the work function. And that's the photoelectric effect. Guys, you do not have to memorize e these equations. These equations are on your equation sheet. You can see right here at the start is our equations for, for waves or photons. So if you're talking about photons or waves, you're going to use this equation, the E equals HF or E equals PC, and you're also going to use the speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. If you're talking about our particles, you're going to use this equation. That's the de Broglie wavelength. That's when we're doing particles here, particles. And don't forget, when we have particles, we can have kinetic energy max equals 1 half mv squared. We can also have that kinetic energy equal to our potential energy, which is Q times the stopping potential. And so these are all the equations we're going to use. And of course, this equation right smack dab in the middle is for the photoelectric effect when we're trying to find work function. Guys, I hope this was not too bad. 8.1 atomic physics. We're going to be doing 8.2 nuclear physics in just a little bit. So make sure you watch that vodcast. Guys, take it easy. Peace in the Middle East, yo.